is their game with a greater Christmas spirit than High Fleet. All the time you're gifting your enemies, even though they're your enemies, cruise missiles, artillery shells, and other things. It's truly a true Christmas experience. Um, so, we should actually check out if there's a hidden city around here somewhere. Um, I think... I put a T7 in this ship though, but it doesn't, doesn't show me the T7. Okay, it just doesn't show me what I put in. Okay, okay, um, that longbow also has to go over here soon. Here we have some more repairs, endless repairs here. Uh, I don't know, like, how long do you need to... How long do you need to go back here? Um, three hours. Yeah, it could be actually worth it to fly over here. I mean, it's not worth it from the money perspective, but, I mean, we have money now again. So maybe we'll just fly over there. And because my missile carrier, I mean, a missile carrier can already um, bomb the next um, missile carrier group, I guess. But I just wanted to take something to take the Mockingbird from Tabal. Um, I guess I will just use the Yas to get a mock uh, Mockingbird. So we have more tankers. Need rescue order. Uh, let's go. Hmm. Guess I can take the Zenits before the survivors, so the Zenits don't blow them up. Oh, oh yes. Um, this strike group. Um, oh, it's still fueling. Hmm. Five hours ago. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a shit show sh chase. Maybe I should not even um, fully fuel. I should uh, already, already just leave and go there. Uh, maybe you can send the Skylark in front to take intel here to check out where the um, trader is going in case we're lucky and we're seeing the right intel. Uh, this is gonna be fun. I think we might never get to the Yas and um, no, not the Yas. I mean that Gladiator and the Skylark to the front lines again. If we follow the trader down here, we should really care. Um, watch out that no trader um, slips past us. It would be uh, quite bad. I would think. I mean, not too problematic. It's just less money. So far the campaign seems okay enough when it comes to money. Um, I guess here again... This is really close. This is really close to the enemy. It's a carrier group. Mm. It'd still be cool to take um check already. Fucking wait forever. Um, but I'm kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I will uh, first go with with these two ships and my flagship also. And my flagship I will park in front and do the th same thing that I wanted to do before. Where I will just park it from where the missile would come, uh, come from, if they would shoot a missile. So that I may deflect, uh, may shoot it down, so. Oh, I this one, I want to have it really precise because I have OCD, no not really but just saying it. So um, Skylark and Flagship. No. Okay. Roger that. Godspeed. And you guys already filled up. Um, yeah, we 
with money now. With money again, yes. until I ask the wood for... I'm, I'm just... actually maybe I should I, I, um, already get more morale out of the wood simply because at some point there will be the event where he dies should be soon and then I won't... I will have to ask um, Omar Khan for support and it's also, also the only guy I can ask for support then so might be best if I already get some morale out of him even though like my morale is pretty awesome everywhere except for these ships. Ah, uh, it's a bit bad. I mean, oh yeah, the thing I wanted to do was also let's see how much fuel wood we have for my subtile. Oh, good, good. I would have enough uh, fuel to just check out of this uh, hidden town here and I will do it. And I will... Uh, maybe I... It would be so bad if Uma, uh, if Dawood dies now. I will just, uh, I will just um, get fleet morale. Whatever. I mean, I have still have two stars with him, and he he will literally be gone. So why is it saying two rescues? It's just a bug now. I guess we can get one more wimple before the float. Hope fuel tanks. Um, aircraft carrier has finally fueled up. I guess you will just land here for a second to take the remaining fuel. And you guys will have to split up soon. You land about here. We're afraid we're Roger that. Good luck. Oh yes, and you need to obviously to fly around with your radar on. Or else I'm not finding any Oh I already see the street. Re really nice. Get a D thirty S. Um. Okay, I will land you afterwards. Oh, he's not even really damaged. Wait a second. Cancel landing. Let's check it out. Uh, ship works. What's the damage? The flares? Are oh, the flares are the damage? Well, you know what? I will actually not just put um last there like this. I want them custom made how I want them. How I uh yeah I don't want them uh, like the um, in the original build because they will actually kill me again. The module is scheduled for installation yes um yeah it's much better. If these things point into every direction the missiles will just fly right into me depending where I go. I could put some zenits in this guy though. Why not? Sell the Mimpel and the Molot. Um, I guess now, now repairs would be in a bed. Approaching uh, final begin. Sound when you land, it comes when you come close to the surface, close to the ground. It's so cool. It sounds really perfect. And here's some good flares. Uh, yeah. D30S, I guess, it's time to land to two.
Okay. Mm. Less we still have. Yes. Okay. Up. Supplies. Ooh, 250 kilogram bombs. Oh, no laser guided cell. How much laser guided do I still have? I got uh, only 16 shots as well. The fierce and then going away like nothing. Like, to be, um, like, to be. I should be more stingy with the laser guided rounds, especially if I have such trouble to buy some now. And I should have made markings somewhere on the map where they could. where um, some of them are. Oh ho! Calcedony. Okay. Travel speed 90, go on the road. Didan, nim root, ganimish. Didan, nim root, ganimish. Burlak. Okay, I, yeah, one trader goes up here. Um, I think it's time to clean the map. I think this, most of these. I think Windwalker, I also, I just catched. I just, uh, maybe I should, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. I don't have to play this uh, um, perfectly. I should write the names of the traders at the, the side so I can uh, decrypt messages better, but I also, I mean, can still decrypt messages without knowing the names. So I'm not gonna make that effort. Uh, uh, yeah, Borlock, but I, because all strike groups are dead, I don't really have to play um, yeah, perfectly anymore. I don't have to be this precise. Yeah, I mean, I know there's one trader going up there, but he's like tons of traders anyway, so I will stumble across them anyway. Yeah. Shouldn't you find them already? Shouldn't you like be right on top of them? Isn't this the town? Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, I'm still f I'm fully fueled anyway. Okay, fly to Zoba, or maybe I already fly closer to the next uh, missile carrier group. There's no time to waste. We gotta bomb this shit as soon as I can. Mm, yes, you can fly into that direction. And only two unready aircraft, but and when I'm there, they will probably be ready. And I can just go back to the hidden people, I guess. So, yeah, you fly a little bit into its direction. Okay, you are fueled in one hour. You will take some more repairs, but I could already go on to Gaja. Yes, and I will do that. I will go on to Gaja. Could be my death. I think I will. Yeah, I mean, I will always be able to. And I should definitely. One of my dear viewers already mentioned I should detach my ships from my tankers more, and he's absolutely right. I should definitely detach my ships from my tankers more. I didn't do it all campaign because I was just lazy, but you should actually do it so the tanker doesn't lose morale and you don't have to get your tanker out of the bad situation. You don't have to. Uh, yeah, do the retreat with it. So. Basically, always a good idea to detach your tank before you engage a garrison. Maybe I should actually wait. I mean, I don't want to admit it, but now with my ship, my my little um, Robin, it will be really hard to be uh, to take garrisons. What I will do, I think uh, there was some laser guided the. Um, Laser guided 130mm rounds. So I will just get this because now it has the 80s. And then my, these fights might be actually doable. Even though my money is gonna go down the drain again. Actually, maybe I do the fight before and then I actually um, open up the town. Like, yeah, get into town and get the morale. Okay, guys, let's fly. 
I hope there's one. I hope there's one miss uh, aircraft carrier there, man. I really, I need more aircraft carriers. Hmm, here it would be actually really great if my my flagship was already in place. Well, it's okay. I think it's not so far behind. It will still be able to. Shoot down incoming um, nukes. Should we even get fired at? Still no Eland here. It's not cool. How fast is the Skylark anyway in this patch? 410. Oh, we have less fuel now. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have to. We are told we have to land this guy. Totally, totally forgot about it. What's the best spot? What's the best spot? Beginning final approach. Didn't really do a single engagement this episode. Sorry. To land faster, I will just push the engines downwards. <laughs> oh, this is actually a good way to die. Don't do this at home, kids. Navarin can fuck right off. Triumphant, I think I'll manage. Mm, another lightning. Uh, I think I'll, I'll keep the money for something more brutal, something more big. But the Mockingbird is very welcome. Where would I even need it the most right now? I guess up with the, these guys. Even though I can't use my ass as a tanker. So yes, flies maybe flies to hidden people and then assaults also the missile carrier group. Oh, it has to get kind of close for that. But I guess first hidden people and the mockingbird. Well, the mockingbird just um, fills up. Yes, yes, the brutal gears. Oh, and I should have detached and. Detached from my tanker. Oh, it's a uh... Oh, that missile sucked. Exactly, the Nimrod didn't take off. Did they destroy the Nimrod? Huh? Wasn't it a Nimrod? I was, uh, I was also seeing it down on the ground still. Oh, okay, who knows? Hmm. 
Ah, uh, I guess. I should have uh, waited a bit for my flagship. But, I mean, if the missile would come here, we have the big radar. I think we would be able to shoot it down. Um, yeah, because it's also one of the slow, it should be one of the slower missiles, not the A100. Mm, I also don't have a direct um, comparison to how hard the game was in the previous patch, like when it comes to uh, when it comes to garrisons, because uh, I just I just don't really remember. But yeah. And, oh, I mean, these guys have, like, one Mockingbird for all of them now. It's also not so nice. I mean, I could use the Mockingbird here and then... I mean, my J can... At least to here, it can go by itself. And with the Mockingbird, yeah, the Gephardt, I don't know. There's so many missile carrier groups still that I really think I should wait to sacrifice my gap out if I want to sacrifice it until I'm like up here in some hellhole like up here. Um, otherwise, I think it might be it might be a little bit of a waste. I guess we'll try to take it down. I mean, the Gephardt, should I take it with me? I guess a backup. Uh, otherwise, otherwise it really needs to go with the Mockingbird. I think, okay, I will use the Mockingbird over here, I guess. And here, I mean, two of my interceptors have a long range by themselves anyway. Mm, okay, and you lose us. Oh wait, it's still being repaired, right? Still 10 hours? Okay. Okay, never mind then. Hmm. I'm afraid of this fight. I hope I have enough laser guided. Well, maybe I don't even need it. Maybe it's surprise a surprisingly easy garrison. Who knows? Maybe I should actually do sector search. But I don't know. And it is a surprisingly easy garrison. Okay, I will try with high explosive first. Should, should be possible. Silent Strike also has. Also, I have not sh completely shitty flares. Man, I can't wait to actually go into the real patch to see how people save the flares in the stable patch. Oh, way less. You have to fire like volleys all the time. This was an easy fight. Um, I guess through protection just for this is a bit dumb. Yeah.
So, I don't know, sector search and into the direction where the missiles would come from. I'll do, I'll do not a... I'll, I'll do a full search, not a sector search. I really hope this was not a mistake. Yeah, okay, um, I think I will write another email to the developers that they should do something about, um, like you repair something in a town and then you land with something else and suddenly the repairs of the first ship will get like, um, uh, they will also be as long as the longest repair of the ship that you just landed and now repair. Like my, I think the, the, how you get around this is if I land my Mockingbird again or something. Uh, but, hmm. Because honestly, this is a huge waste of time. Well, um. Okay, right now I will just use my Mockingbird over here. I will just go over here and use them. And leave and take the um, lightning with me. And these guys have enough, um. These guys have enough uh, fuel for everything anyway. Hmm. I forgot something, and it's these guys. Okay, not really. Um, the hell? Uh, not really, I didn't... F ah, damn, this is, I'm never gonna catch him on soon. There's some intel that I can't get right now. I mean, there's so many traders still alive. There's some intel that I can't get right now. Maybe we're lucky and it's monsoon. It's not monsoon. It is. Regard and Regard is going down to Kaffo. Hmm. Any ammo? Any. Ah, uh, yeah, I think 30 bombs are enough for now. I don't have so much planes anyway. Um. Yeah, maybe I fly over here just to get intel with the, just with the Skylark. Then I have to go back to there and try again. It's really, maybe I should just advance and leave the trader behind. Uh, or maybe I should like, like just guess, because I would guess when, if it's, they all go like in a, mostly in a straight line, I would say maybe it's in the, it has flown to Zemarim now. 8 to 12 hours it is. 12 hours have passed. Uh, could be. Couldn't be so much further. I mean, we are faster than them. And we I fly directly to Isa just to get the um, intel with both of my ships. Uh, okay.
I wish there were more random events in towns and all. That would be cool. Mm, oh, oh, my beloved skeleton. Um, main thing we don't need it's one incendiary round of 180. We don't need uh, 130 incendiary. I'm not. Incendiary is cool. If you fly a fight, um, if, uh, attrition, an attrition fight, an attrition flight where you just always shoot, that, uh, shoot them once the um, fire suppression systems have been used, but not like the not like the biggest fan. I mean, it's also the cheapest ammo, so maybe I should do a run where I really use it a lot, a lot because I never really use it. So I think also time's up and that's it for this episode. So thanks for watching and until next time.